Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we will finally continue on the e-commerce app and we are going to fix some little issues. They are not issues, but uh, stuff that we need to implement. So if we go to the billing fragment now, as you can see, we're showing some unnecessary views as the total price here and the place order. We don't need to show these because we came to the billing fragment from here, from the profile, and we don't have an order, so we need to hide these. And one more thing is when the user clicks on this uh, home address, for example, we want to be able to let the user update or delete this address. So we want to direct him to the address fragment uh, to update or delete this address. Okay, let's get started with this. First of all, we want to go to the nav graph. And in the billing fragment, we want to add a new argument here. And we want to call this payment. And we want to make this boolean and let's click on add so this payment boolean will help us to determine if we should show the price and the place order button if this argument is true then yes we need to show those views if it's not then we want to hide them so now let's go to the cart fragment and here we need to pass inside here when we click on the checkout button inside the cart fragment we need to pass the payment argument and we pass true because this is going to be a payment and we also want to go to the profile fragment and same thing here but this time we want to pass false because we don't want to show any information about the payment because this is not a payment now we can go to the billing fragment and and in here we want to get the payment boolean so up here we already have the args object here now we can check for that so args dot payment if this is not true then we want to hide four things and i'm just going to copy and paste them and here you go so we want to hide the place order button we want to hide the total price and there are divider lines we want to hide them now let's launch the app to check that okay let's go to the profile fragment and we can go to the billing and as you can see, we did not show any information about any order because we don't have an order. Let's actually add a product here. So I'm going to just add any random product. And let's navigate back. Go here. And let's actually click on checkout. And as you can see, the same billing fragment were able to show the total price and place order and we were able to hide them using the payment argument. Okay, cool. Now let's implement the next thing. As we said, if we came to the billing fragment from the profile fragment, so here now let's navigate back, the billing fragment here, if the user clicks on this address, we want to navigate to the address fragment so the user can actually edit or update or delete on this address so let's do that the same strategy we did we want to go to the nav graph and we want to add some uh some tag that help us to determine and now for the address fragment we want to add a new argument and let's call this address the type here is going to be parsable and we want to make this address then we can make this nullable and click on add now let's go back to the billing fragment and inside the adapter click, let's see where's that, this one, uh, we can actually navigate to the address fragment and we can send, send the selected address. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a bundle here and we are going to put a parsable inside that bundle. We can call this address, make sure to call it the same name as we called it inside the nav graph. And here we pass the selected address or we can pass it because it's going to be the same. Anyways, now we can just call find navcontroller.navigate and we pass the ID of our action. Okay, now we can go to the address fragment and inside here. And inside here, we want to get the args object. So let's get that here. And we want to get the address fragment args. And inside one of you created, we can now get the address. So now we check if this address is null. Then we want to hide the delete button because 
we want to, because the user needs to add a new address. So let's do that. Can make this view gone. And else than that, and else than that, we want to set the data or the information of this address inside our field. And I'm just going to copy and paste now. So as you could see, what we do in here is to set the information of this address. If it's not null, we want to change the text field to, to the information we get from this address. So for example, so now if we launch the app to preview that, okay, let's first go to the card fragment, try to place an order. And if we click on the home, okay, we got an error. Let's see, why is that? Um, let's see. Okay, so we forgot once one thing actually. Uh, we need to go to the shopping graph and we need to give a default value for this. Let's make it null. And now it should work. Let's launch the app again. Now let's go to the cart fragment and let's check out, click on the address. Oops, this is not what we expect. Okay, so the issue is from here. First of all, we forgot to pass the, this bundle. Then we only wanna do this if it, this is uh, not a payment. So args.payment. And now let's launch the app and let's check out, select an address. As you can see, we were able to select an address now let's just go to the profile fragment billing and now when we click on this address as you can see we are able to to just uh, show the information of that address and now we can either save it or delete it now for the update and delete button we are going to work on that on the next video and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video